name is Ramir Williams. I am a photovoltaic technician uh, three for Duke Energy Renewables, and I've been working for Duke for six years. So I'm 27. I uh, graduated high school in Durham, North Carolina. That's originally where I'm from. Um, at, I graduated at Charles E. Jordan High. Um, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do when I graduated high school. Uh, but I, I got into solar. I started, you know, as a guy doing wire management. All I had to do was, you know, pin the wires to the back of the panel, move on. Um, but I found that, you know, I, I started to learn more and I, I found an interest in solar. And it, uh, I felt like, you know, oh, this might be my thing. You know, this may be my calling. So let me take it serious and learn as much as I can. And I um, did that and it made it so I could move up. The general services that Duke Energy Renewables provides is not only the equipment, but the expertise in analyzing power issues. Um, in the community that I serve is, is Halifax County, um, but Duke has services all over the country, as you know. So the importance of operations and maintenance technicians is to basically take care and resolve any issues that you find on your site. You, you know, you have an energy yield that you're trying to meet and that operations and maintenance technicians provides that ability by fixing anything that's broken, um, constantly analyzing and looking at your site and uh, making sure that you're producing to the best of your ability. My daily job duties consist of Checking my site in the mornings, um, looking at my energy production. If I notice any dips or changes in my energy production, I can go out into the field and fine tune, troubleshoot any kind of issues. The main technology that I use to carry out my job duties uh, would consist of a fluke multimeter. Um, that's a voltage meter to check your voltages. Um, I use thermal cameras. The thermal cameras can sense any hot spots in your solar panels, any hot spots in wires, and let you know that that wire is degrading. Um, and a laptop. Uh, my laptop, that's my go-to. That's what I use to see my site and see the production. And my personal protective equipment that I use is um, your hot gloves, your class zero gloves. They're rated for a thousand volts. Um, we have FR rated gear, which is basically fire resistant, art resistant, so that if a spark lands on my shirt, it'll dissipate immediately, it will not spread. Um, and we also use safety glasses to keep any kind of um, foreign objects from entering our eyes. Um, and a hard hat, of course, to keep our heads safe. Um, you walking on the panels a lot of the days and you can easily you know, pop up and hit your head on the panel. Me, I started entry level commissioner. Um, I went around and I basically just inspected things. Um, but as I learned more, I realized that I, I had an interest in solar. So my ultimate goal would be to become an engineer eventually. Um, so as I'm working for Duke, I plan on going back to school and using the um, income that I get from Duke to pay for my school. Um, when I first came out of high school, I couldn't, you know, really afford to go to school. I didn't really have anybody to pay for classes or anything for me. But now that I've provided that income to myself, I can use that to further my own career. My favorite part about the work I do is probably learning every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't learn something new. Um, feeling like I'm progressing in my field or, or my craft. Also, I enjoy providing that clean solution um, of energy for the substation, which provides the energy to your home. So when mom and dad turns the light switch on, um, they can you know, rely that they got that energy in a clean way. The most difficult part of my job would be uh, specific to my site. I have over 800 inverters. So there's times where you have to replace anywhere from 20 to 30 of those inverters and you know, it just creates a heavy workload. Um, another difficult part would be the outages that we do. A lot of times uh, solar repairs are done more efficiently at night. So that means that I will be working during the night, which is a little challenging. Um, 
but we make it happen. Good educational resources for people that want to have careers in operation and maintenance would be, of course, a basic high school diploma. Um, but I would say the best educational resources is hands-on experience. Getting out into the field at an entry level, learning day by day, and um, just increasing your overall knowledge will um, be your best resource, really. Duke Energy has not only provided clean energy for the community, but it's also provided a place where I feel like I can, I'm learning and progressing every day. It also provides opportunity. Um, there's constant opportunity, whether you want to be an engineer, whether you want to take it managerial, um, you can take it administrative, you could, you know, literally start from an installer and, you know, work your way up to CEO. For anyone trying to get into solar, I would suggest that the best way is to go online, whether you're using Google or you could use the Center for Energy Education's website. They provide a lot of opportunities and a lot of um, things you can learn from. Um, and, you know, mainly just have patience. When you first get started, you may not be doing what, it may not be easy, you may not like the position you're in. But if you stick with it, if you, you know, just work hard, you can quickly progress and move up. And um, the more you move up, the more you'll, the more interest you'll have. You know, you'll, it can become a, a career, a life career for you.